So, um, turns out, let me get away from the dragon side. Turns out I can't play mud Minecraft. At least not my mod pack. I can't play. So yeah, that's a thing. I can't play mod Minecraft. That's the reason why I haven't done many of these videos. This would be the first video that will probably be uploaded whenever the internet comes back. But that's a sad point. The real point of why I'm doing this video is because it's that time again where I say to myself, Because again, as you already know, on every February the 20th of every year, I do a birthday video. And that's what this is. Let me turn my noises down so I can... <coughs> that is fine. Anyway, so yeah, it's just my birthday. When I'm literally 22 years of age now. 22! Anyway, side point, we're in the end, in creative mode, and I thought this would be a good idea to be here, just to um, say happy birthday, because literally birthdays are things that kind of drag us to the ends of our lives, so the end kind of fits perfectly, to be honest. I mean, life we live, we just live and grow older and older by the days, and before we know it, sometimes we just don't live long. But I'm here at 22, so that's a thing. I'm 22 years old, age. And I'm no longer 21. I was only 21 before, now I'm 22. <clears throat> so yeah, it, and in the end, it says the end or the beginning. And then it says free the end, good luck. Listen, you have to kill the dragon. Next, Jin, hold the dragon egg. Escape the, the island. The end again with this. We spawn the inner dragon. Then collect the inner Collect the dragon's breath in a glass. Is the next thing. I don't really know how to do that. So yeah, basically that's that. I think why DV thing is the fact that if you um kill it you can come back here and kill it again. I I don't really understand. But I've noticed that the dragon does a normal routine. It flies around and then it comes back here with it where it dies once you kill it. Now in survival, I don't really know how you would do it. I guess you would stand beneath it. Because you can stand like right here and shoot it. So I think what you do is you would wait. And you would probably shoot it once it gets right there. You'll probably do like this like this. Or maybe you hit it when it gets close. But, I don't know if the inner dragon actually hurts you, so let's try a little thing. I don't know if it will come direct me, directly at me, but I do know this, that as soon as I do this, that I'm probably going to die. But yeah, I think that this is what it does. It's, whoa. Okay. That was weird. But yeah, those up there will 
shoot those balls. I think that you can use the balls to hit the dragon one. Pretty sure that's what you're supposed to do. What the dragon is. You're supposed to find the balls and hit it. And that's what you're supposed to do, I think. What is it? I don't really know, to be honest. But yeah, this is the Ender Dragon, and this is what it really does. Compared to Corridor's mode, where you can't technically get hurt. Oh, so you can't touch that. Alright, but that's what that is. And, um, I guess the dragon flies around. And you can hit it from here. So he definitely gets louder. So yeah, the inner dragon seems pretty easy. I think this is the easiest thing because you, you just gotta watch out for where it's attacking at. And then you just go back over here and, and hit him. I'm assuming that, holy moly, he's loud. Well, she's loud, or it's loud. I'm assuming that, um, oh shit. I'm assuming that, uh, that you also are supposed to bring stuff with you, like a bow and arrow. Or something? I'm not really for sure. But yeah, that's the end. We're gonna try to go back. Anyway, I was trying to, but that's literally the inner dragon and why you would die from it, I guess. So yeah, we're going to go back in there and try this again in survival. I just want to see if I can do it, but we need to get to Nice. go to the nether and you get this, then you turn that into blaze powder, and then you put them together and you get the eye of ender. Um, I don't really know how to make these, but I'm thinking it's probably like some kind of stone and you put them out. But I, if you can't make them, you would take the eye of Ender. Let me show you. I'll take the eye of Ender. And you would throw it. And then it will go and it will fall down. And once you fall once it falls down, 
there will probably be an in portal way in this area. I'm not for sure if there's one down here. I mean, it fell down here, but I don't really know if there is one down here. But then you'll you'll go to that in portal like they go to have a set of like this over lava, and all you have to do is get the eyes in there, and they all have to be facing the same way. So you can't probably go in the middle because it's a lava. You would probably have to be on the outside, make sure they're facing towards you at all times, and then they will make this, and then you just jump in. And then you'll get an achievement saying, or is it the beginning? So yeah, and I, I would say you should take in the pool with you, so that if you do find someone stupid, you can do this, and you'll get up here, and stuff. Um, I don't think that both and elves actually work for in the dragons, because I think they're just like in the men to sound just off of them. But yeah, that's how you would do that. And your stuff would be here too, you know, my old stuff that I had. And then you go and come back here to get more in and stuff. Okay, so here we go again. We're going to go into survival. Um, the dragon's health will not move as long as you have destroyed the tower thingy. If you haven't, then... Then that's thing. Good shit. But yeah, you have to fight some of the endermen sometimes. Because they, they get mad. Oh, shit. Getting teleport everywhere. Okay, so yeah, we died again. That's kind of how that goes. But yeah, that's, I don't think it's a big thing to drive, to be honest. But then again, there's a way if you have a will. So, 20, so now I'm 22 years old. Just in case there's anyone asks me how old I am, I'm 22. Just turned 22 today. And then, you know, that would be pretty days on. I'll be 22 for a bit and for a while. And I just decided to do a video and see because I can tell you that the 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 internet is definitely on and out. All right. so yeah, that's it. Um, I'm thinking once you get in here that you look down. See, this is what where you spawn at. That's why I say you should get in the pool. So I want to go back and get some in the pool because I want my right there and you know. And then the next one. Alright, let's go get my stuff before we go but yeah, I think that um, you have to literally put a box around here so you can just hit the dragon. Um, bad idea technically. You shouldn't actually do that because the dragon will take all the blocks. The only way you can technically do it is I don't actually know to be honest. I guess you would have to just fight everything in the end. And what's your health? I think, don't think they would get angry at you if you just um, stand still. But yeah, you should be able to hit it from right here. So I'm assuming that you would be able to survive over here. And that the endermen should only get mad at the dragon. As long as you're not close to them, they shouldn't get mad at you. 
I'm assuming. And you'll just stay down here. I'm hoping. Oh, shit. Alright, I got two from the white. This one's just okay. the purple. This should be good. Oh, shit. Um, okay, never mind. The purple literally stays there. Anyways, I don't think I'm gonna actually be able to defeat the Ender Dragon, but that's, that's how hard the Ender Dragon really is. I guess, I don't really know if you're like supposed to have some kind of special stuff to defeat him. But there's a way to defeat him because, again, He's the end of the game, so you have to be able to defeat it to get back to the real world. Anyways, we're gonna go defeat the creative mode because I just wanted to show you what happens when you defeat this. That's all I'm here for, is to show you what happens when you defeat the end of the dragon. I know I did this once before, I believe, but I've never done it in a video, so. I guess this is my first video of me defeating the Ender Dragon in Koya. I would try to continue to try to defeat it in survival mode, but it literally changes its um, hostile attacks onto you. Because the Ender Dragon is very hostile. It will destroy everything everywhere in the I just want to show you where I think so let's get rid of the cinnamon around here. Anyway. So I think what you would probably do is you would stand here in survival. Um good. Go back to the game. I think you would stand here in survival. You'd wait for the dragon to get here. And once it gets here, and stuff, you'd probably leave the area once it decides to attack. So it won't attack you, specifically. Because it will just attack the Enderman as well. So once it comes down here and lands, that is when your opportunity is to attack it. So I think the best plan is to hit it a couple of times until it's lower, then probably run out, eat some food, or one of those two, and regen, and then like run back up here and do it again. I literally think that's what you should do. I'm thinking also that you should probably um, have a shield as well. Because I think that if you use the shield, you can probably block it to that. So we're going to try this in survival one last time. For good old days. We're going to try to see what happens if we try this with a shield. This is our last attempt to beat off the end of the game. Other than quite a mode a little bit, so it's a little low now. We also fight a little here in the camera, so you know, it's good. This is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my shield on me. I'm gonna see if I can get it down here. And now it's loud and bad. And then it will die just like that, and you get the achievement. And it flies its little descending body, and then ST just falls casually around you. Then the game casually goes off, just like this. 
then the game casually goes off just like this. So it basically says Minecraft made by this. You've seen the player you have made. Mint. I mean, Clint Boxfield? Question mark. Yes. Take care of this high level now, and although that's reading our thoughts, that doesn't matter. It's a game we are part. Of. Yeah, and then it just literally just talks to you. I'm guessing or two people are communicating here at the end, and they talk about this player, which they're talking about you, and then they talk about the words, and they talk about the the dreams, and they talk about some more stuff here. And, and then it says some more things about the voices, and days, and we can call the witches, witches, wardrobes, and all kinds of other stuff, because I think that you actually supposed to do potions to defeat the dragon. What did this player dream? And then it says this player dreamed of Skylight and trees and fire and water and dreamed of creating it and dreamed of destroying it and dreamed of hunting and was hunted and dreamed of shelter. And then it says some more stuff. And it says it's working on other million of true words and unfold these things, which are things you can go and Google somewhere and it will translate what those actually mean. It can be read though. Not yet until you're a higher level and then you know in the game and then it says we love it and blah 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 the universe and the universe is so kind and uh, other stuff. Yeah, I don't know how long this actually lasts to be honest. I've never actually seen it go off but I think it just keeps going and talking about the universe and dreams and reality and building and more about the Minecraft and what the Minecraft really is about. And then it says reading our thoughts and it continues with sometimes I don't care, sometimes I wish them these words take the truth and then it has these words again and then it wishes for us and then and the dreams about us and that and yet they played the game that but it is be so easy for them to tell them that stream, dreams are stronger and then it says we, I will not tell the player how to live players grow with this list I would tell the player a story but not the truth. No, a story and then it just says safety and other stuff, but in naked truth and, and things. Give a body. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use this name. Clean Fox Girl, player of the game. And then it says good. Take a breath now. Use the other lens and free and air and all kinds of other stuff here. Bodies and points and universe again. And other stuff. Who are we? And then it says that they are the sun, moon, spirits, animal spirits, and all the other stuff that's in my work that you see roaming around and all that stuff and then it says yes we are the universe basically and then it says once upon a time there was a player it was you Queen Ball Girl this will change for person who beats the game this will always just play your name once you beat the dragon but it says my name because I have no one to defeat the dragon and it goes on and talks more stuff and things. And this player was dreaming of mining and other stuff. It literally just tells you like more about like what what you're dreaming about, I guess. And that's literally all I keep seeing is dreams and dreamed and literally this this whole game is just dreams. 
I, I do know that sometimes the player dreams it would watch words on a screen. <laughs> Let's go back. And then it talks some more. A woman. Oh, look at that. It actually knows that a woman. I never even noticed this. It says a woman in her body. Yes, and the player woke up with darkness and stuff. Okay, the player's DNA, her new story, the, and I just, I didn't even know it said a woman. I guess it changes depending on if it knows your gender. I don't really know how that works. That's <laughs> weird. I've never seen that it said a woman. Interesting. I don't know if it's literally talking about me or not. That'd be funny if it actually said happy birthday on on here too. That would be hilarious. Anyway, there's also says who is created by now. And some other words that I don't really feel like reading, but it, it literally goes back to the universe and other stuff and yeah, it literally just continues to talk about planets and other stuff and things in the universe. That's literally all it says. And then it says, go back to playing the game, sometimes reading words on screen. Yeah, the player, reading words. Hush, sometimes the player is in the code of the screen, and these words are meanings, and have deeper things, and deeper ideas, and being alive, and not being alive. I don't really know, it just continues. That you, you, you are alive. I, I really don't think this ever ends, to be honest. <laughs> I think it just continues to talk. I'm literally curious now of like if this ever stops talking. Um, but I do know you can hit escape and it will automatically stop the screen from keep going. But I just want to see like how long does it really um, last for. Does it literally just keep talk about dreams and it, it even says it loves you? What the fuck? You can't love me. The universe loves me. Okay. The universe. Let's play the game well. But yeah, I think it literally just continues to just talk over and over again. I don't, I don't think that it stops. I don't really know. So yeah, this is, this is just how it ends. I, I don't know if it actually ends in like with the credits literally like stop talking to you. But I'm assuming it was real. It even says the universe says you are not alone. Oh my goodness. A universe, the universe, oh my goodness, the universe, other things of the universes. And the universe, you are, you, and it says, the, it even says the code is reading its own code, and it says the universe loves you. And the dream that the player wakes up from, and will dream again in this universe of love. You are the player. Wake up. And that's it. Is that it? Is that it? Did that do it? Is that all? Is that all? Yep, that's all. Then you get the actual ending credits. So they are, they talk to, they say wake up, and then you get the regular Minecraft ending things. Which I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to exit and wake up. So yeah, once you completed the end, you'll wake up back where you were at, um, and stuff, and that's that. But then, what happens when you go back to the end, some people might ask. Well, we'll show you what happens when you go back to the end, after, oh wow, I will. But here's the end again, in case you forgot what it looks like. I'm gonna just, uh, jump in soon. But I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait before I jump in.
Okay. And here we go. Jumping in. Exactly the same as we did before. We had to do the exact same thing. Okay, it's going to Quito. Oops. I made the wrong number. This is the moment when you get out of the seat on your own game. Quito one. Alright, we're gonna fly up here. Because yeah, this doesn't change none. You literally fly up here and everything's the same. But once you get up here, you come to over here, and now there's a dragon egg up here with a portal back home. Alright, and I'm um, going to survival mode. So you can see the XP I'm clicking. So yeah, it gives you XP for a new higher level. And I think all you gotta do is literally click on this. And I don't really know what that did. I think it's one that's over here somewhere. Anyways, they, I think you're supposed to click on the egg and it does something. Oh, it's over there, actually. Alright, so you get this egg. And, oh, there, there's those things. I think you can bring it across the whole world. I don't think it actually does anything, to say. But yeah, that's what that does. It's just an egg. You can leave the end. And that's what you could do. I don't know if you can actually pick that up. I just looked exactly at your face. But you didn't do But yeah, you can't pick up the egg. I don't really know what the fuck is the egg. Because it says in a dragon again. But anyway. That's not what it's important. What is important is this. As you won. And I think you are probably playing Vox. Um, Oh my goodness, am I still making them all mad at me? Anyway, I think you'd... Yeah, that's not how you do it. Anyway, the... I think you build blocks or something like that. I don't know what I'm in the water this time. That's weird. Keep it in the one the one. I don't remember. Okay, right, let's go and create it one last time. I'll just show you what it is because it's amazing being a survival and we end up dying. That's the thing. So yeah. Maybe we need to come back in here. There'll probably be a bridge built for you by that time. I don't really know how you do your game. They will sit around somewhere. You can keep it up here. You can 
play around with it and shoot it all over the world, you're going to end up knocking it in the portal and having it there as well. But all the egg does is basically just sits there. I think that there's like a way to hack it. I'm not really for sure, but anyway, that's not the point. What is the point is this. You would come over here. And there's something here. Right here. Now, I don't really know. But I'm thinking what you would do. Uh, you would take whatever blocks you had and you'll probably build up to it. Well, I'm only doing this in the opposite way because it's faster. But you would build up to it. So, so, since nothing can take your blocks, you could build now. So, with the inner dragon, you couldn't do this, and it's not even here to begin with. But you would build probably a wonky thing, something like that. And then you would have your inner portals again with you. Hopefully you don't, you know, lose too many of them. If you do lose too many of them, you just fight these, I guess. And you take your inner pool once you get up here on the staircase. And you just throw it down in your portal, I guess. Ah, there you go. There, I did it. Alright, and then you'll get gateway when we I just fell off the world. Wait, that happens. Anyways, you'll get gateway removed, and obviously it didn't spawn me on fucking land, that was a thing. You'll get gateway removed, and once you get let gateway removed, I'm trying to show you what's on there. So this is what the end man was, the thing with that. Let's go back over here and try this again. Once you get gateway removed, it will be up here. And then just try this again. I'm not trying to break the thing. You throw it in there. Get gateway removed. Alright, I think I literally fell off the edge of the platform. Anyway, you would get onto this platform. And of course, you'd probably use your inner pool to get around. And you would search every island. And you'd probably collect these and kill some more Enderman so you can keep going. But if you're lucky and you fly around this space for a long period of time, or jump around this space, you'll find a building. And in this building, you'll find your shocker thing and stuff. And then you can collect shockers. And they are like treasure chests that you can take with you, basically. And that's, that's what it, what it does. Um, but, after you go there, you would, just hold the egg to the next generation. I'm thinking you find a way to pick it up. Not really for sure, maybe it's an empty hand. Then the end again, and then that. But yeah, here you would say it says enter city. End of the game, what happens now? So then you find the town and you beat up those and skies and women. Because that's where you get those from. You get the ability to actually glide. Because you killed something in here and you made these like fake. Green like things. So you also get a breath of dragon, dragon's breath from the dragon. I'm assuming. But yeah, you can have the ability to make or find. I'm not really for sure. A thing of wings. No, oh, these right here. And they just allow you to glide and stuff.
and when you defeat the figure out how to get this in the egg, I don't really know how to get the dragon's egg. And I just think it's like nothing to move it. I get how you can see the egg. I know you can get it because I don't think you can actually get it, to be honest. You have to be able to hold it, but... I don't think you can. Thank you.
not really too sure. And I This is a happy birthday video of how to figure out what the fuck to do today. I mean, I don't actually know. I don't think I actually why to be honest. I think it's good. It's literally no dragon eight here and uh, no dragon egg in here neither, so we can't like get it like that. So I don't really know how you would do it. Maybe you can just say give. Yeah. Jump into this. 
and they'll take you back to your world. I don't really know how you get the dragon egg whatsoever. But yeah, that's it. I am here to say happy birthday to myself. Anyway. Yeah, that's the uh, birthday video for me, the birthday girl. Um, that's all I wanted to do was do something stupid. And um, I don't really know when y'all see this, but if y'all like this kind of content of me doing something stupid when I better say it in, yippee, I'm probably going to not do it again, but who knows. Anyways, this is probably going to be the one vanilla video that I will do. I won't do any more vanilla Minecraft videos when the internet's back. I'll probably go back to mod it. But yeah, this is the video that I'm doing. This will be uploaded whenever. Again. Who knows? But I just wanted to let you know that it is February the 20th right now. So that's that thing in case you didn't know. So yeah. That is today and it is exactly 5.11 is the time. So yeah. It's 5.11 is the time. Yeah, that's, that's the date and the time that I am recording this. And now uh, if I do do another video, I will put the day and time, I'll type it on the video so that you know what day and time it is. But for now, my good friends, as always, make sure you um, like the video, leave a comment and sub to watch more, I guess, sub to watch more. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And I'll go see y'all soon. Goodbye, my good friends. See you soon.